Hi, this is a really quick video on recording in Camtasia, doing a little trimming, editing of that video, and then uploading it directly from Camtasia Studio up to YouTube. So, first thing we'll do is we have Camtasia open, and here we'll press the record button. You'll get this record option window here, and you have some options here. I'm just going to go ahead and select this one from this drop down for full screen. Um, you can, you want to select this button here so that you can actually hear your audio um, that when you're speaking either through your headphone or through the built-in mic on your computer. And then if you want any system audio, you'll want to set this here. So for example, if you're going to uh, play a movie uh, or audio, then you'll want to include this so that you can actually hear what's what your computer uh, is putting out for sound. I'm going to turn that off for now, but um, I'm including this so that we can hear my voice in their resulting video. Then we'll press record. You'll get a countdown, and now we're recording. So let's, for example, my really short video is showing uh, the wonders of SoundCloud.com, and I might scroll around, click some links, okay, and now I'm done with my video. So. Now up here, I'll go ahead and choose Stop Recording. This will now bring that video into SoundCloud. You can see this area here is the actual video that you can preview. Here are, is the media library, and then which will do some previewing. And then down here is the timeline so that you can see. Um, this strip here is the uh, audio video that you just did. If you would like to edit down video. So let's say, for example, at the beginning of this video, um, there was something I didn't want. I can drag what's called the playhead here back and forth. Um, I can choose where in my play line, uh, excuse me, my timeline that I want to do a cut. I can right click that and I can say split at playhead. This will give me two segments of the video now that I can select separately. And then if I use the delete key, when one of them's highlighted, it will actually remove that. And now I can drag the remaining video around. So let's say there was some at the beginning and let's say there was some at the end that I wanted to cut out. I can do that same thing again. Drag this playhead to where I want, select this segment in the timeline, right click, select split at playhead, and now select the por portion of that clip that I want to delete, press delete. Okay, so now we have our video and I can press, I can go to the beginning with this, I can go to the end with this, um, and now I can I, if I press play, I can now hear and see what's going on up here. I can fast forward. So now we can we can we can see that this is not working. So now when I'm done and I want to upload this to YouTube, I'll click the share and select YouTube. Um, I'm logged in from before, so I'll sign out. And what you're going to get when you want to you want to sign in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and put in my humble. Uh, email address and if you have a personal account you can use that as well but I'm going to use my humble since that's where we are here and then I'll sign in because uh, don't worry about putting the password on that first page it's gonna ask you to do it again so I just go ahead and put in uh, my email address in the first field leave the password blank so that now I can actually put in my um, HSU username and password log in um, I have some options. You may not have these. Uh, I have a couple other pages that I'm working on, so um, I'm picking this as my personal account, and then I'll scroll down and say accept. Now here I can put a title in, um, and I'll put the title. Um, you can add tags. You can add, add a description if you'd like, and then this is public, unlisted, or private. Um, so public will allow people who are searching on YouTube to find it. Unlisted will only work if you actually have the URL for that. So if you're using it for a course, you may want to do that so people don't stumble across it. And then private, it's only you can view it. So I'll just do unlisted for now and then press share. Um, it's going to process that video and then upload it. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll go over to YouTube where I'll show you what that looks like. So that export's done, and now it's an upload. So you can see here, there's some information. It shows you the size, file size, and the, um, the 
time length. Um, and you don't have to go over to YouTube now at this point if you just want to um, work with that video, just copy the link to it. You could just go ahead and click copy, um, but I'll click visit so we can open up YouTube directly to this page. And now you can see that this video is now up on YouTube. And if our networks actually has some speed to it today, we'll, we'll maybe this will actually load. And I'm just clicking, sorry, I'm just clicking reload in my browser. I've had a lot of problems today loading. And so there, there we go, there's my video. Um, it's the, the quality is pretty low right now um, because it, once it's up on YouTube, it usually takes a little bit of time for it to process and get that, that nice HD version. Um, but there you go. And so now you can take this link, you can email it, you can put it in Moodle, you can however you want to distribute that um, now that your video is up on YouTube.